Hi guys, so I'm out on a roof survey here today at this home just behind me. I'm, I've been in and just briefly speaking to the clients there. They've been explaining to me a, a couple of issues that they've been having with the roof. The, the, the first thing that we, they covered off and asked, uh, will, they, will we need access into the loft space? And my answer was yes. So even if we can determine what the problem is from the outside, we'd always just like a wee look into the loft space just to ensure that there's no dampness or mold or anything, any leaks up there. And also it's important for us to know what the board, boarding is and the makeup of the roof. So this roof here is probably approximately about 40 years old. I'm going to ask the client more about how long they've lived in the house and how old it actually is. And then I'm going to give some recommendations. So. If you want to come in and have a look around, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what's going on. So when we come up into the attic space, we're looking to check what the boarding of the, the roof is. So between the trusses here, between the beams, we've got a solid uh, ply board here, which is, is good because it, it looks like it's still in good condition. There isn't any sign of any real dampness or anything there. So that's a positive sign. Sometimes we'll see like a Celotex board, which is a, a fiber board that usually can collapse into the attic space. That's uh, That would be quite concerning, but here what we're seeing is quite a solid structure. The beams are solid, the, the boarding's solid. So it's more just the actual roof covering that's starting to deteriorate, obviously being 40 years old. We have got a wee bucket over here in the corner, which is fairly some water. So I do think that, um, there's been a wee leak here at the corner of the chimney, but I did notice that the lead work out there didn't look too great. So that's probably what's happening there. Been leaking for a wee while. Um, yeah. So from the ground, we did notice that it looked as though the mortar on the on the hip tiles had started to crack out. And as you can see from a closer inspection, without any force at all, these hip tiles are literally just sitting in place. So the mortar that's here is, isn't attached to the actual hip tile anymore. And if we look at a couple of them, it's probably very similar. So this is quite a bit of a worry for us and it'll be a worry for the homeowner. So we'll be offering probably here a, 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 to either rebed these hip tiles and point them with sand cement mortar, or we'll offer a new dry hip system, which is a, a modern day way of, of putting hips on that involves um, no mortar and it's maintenance free with a 10 year guarantee as well. So the, the, the lead flashing around this chimney here, this is, um, to the untrained eye, it actually looks not too bad, but when you look a bit closer, there isn't enough cover or upstands on it and you can see there's some areas where water ingress could easily go and I'll be surprised if there actually isn't any dampness inside the chimney there. By the way, like no nails or nothing, like nothing holding it in. So guys, I've just come down off the roof there. What I've found up there is that there is definitely quite a bit large build up in moss. So we'd like to get that taken off the tiles by safely removing it with a wire brush and scrapers and then applying a fungicide uh, sealer onto it just to prevent the, the regrowth of the moss. The other things that we noticed was that the, the mortar to the hip and the ridge tiles has all started to break out and it actually looks as though it's never actually been holding the hips and the ridge tiles in place. So I think what's maybe happened here and it's quite a common theme that the roofers who's been on this site when it's been done sort of about 40 years ago, they've used the builder's uh, mix, which is a bit of a weaker mix used for the brickwork. And they've used that on the roof and it's not totally um, adhered to the, to the roof tiles. So basically the hips and the ridge tiles up there are all just sitting in place, very worrying. You'll see some of the videos that, that I took that um, they're just lifting off without any force at all. So I've been up there with zero, um, zero tools and just with my fingertips alone could, could lift them off. So if we think about how high the winds can get here in Scotland, there's a, a good chance they could be blown off. So we need to get that secured into place. What we'll probably recommend here would be a, a new dry hip and a dry ridge system, which is involves taking away all the mortar 
and disposing of it and putting down a like a dry mechanically fixed system which will be maintenance free that comes with a 10 year guarantee and that will basically out outlive the, the roof tiles that's there so other recommendations that we would make is because there was some dampness on the loft space there we we would advise replacing the the, the lead flashings to the the, the proper industry standards and also just some pointing around the chimney to tidy that up. Overall, my, my recommendation would be that although the roof is 40 years old, I think there's probably, if we do the accessories like the dry hip, the dry ridge, we take the moss off, we clear the gutters out and we tidy everything up, I, I would be expecting that with the right maintenance, probably just keeping an eye on the roof every year, I think we could get 10 years out of this roof and push it towards that. So that's, that's going to be my recommendation to the client. I think it'd be just a step too soon to replace the full roof and have a, a full fixed scaffold around it and lots of skip involved and lots of materials so I think this will be a step towards getting them getting them security and peace of mind for the next 10 years with probably one of our maintenance plans just to make sure that we're popping in each year keeping the gutters clear having a look over everything and doing any routine maintenance I would have peace of mind that that's probably going to give them peace of mind for for the next 10 years so that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to run by the client just now and see what their thoughts are they might be thinking that they just want to replace the roof and get it over and done with or they might think that's a good option so I need to see See what their long-term plans are and make sure we align on that message once i've done that i'll go back to the office with all the information i've got and i'll get the quote prepared for them and send that across